Hello and welcome back. This lesson comes from a request by Aditya from Maharashtra, India. Aditya says he is preparing for a competitive exam and he has to do reading comprehension exercises as part of the exam and he wants to know the best way to do these. Before we start, if you want to request a lesson, just leave a comment. In your comment, tell me your name and I will mention you in the video. Okay, in this lesson, I will give you some important tips and strategies for reading comprehension exercises. I will give you a reading plan that you can follow and there are exercises in this lesson for you to practice. All right, now my teaching experience is mostly with exams like the IELTS and TOEFL, but the tips that I give you in this lesson will help you in any exam situation. So the first thing is, when it comes to reading in an exam, budget your time. That means you should know how many reading passages there are in the exam, how many exercises there are, and how much time you have. In the IELTS exam, for example, there are three reading passages and you have one hour to do all of them. So then divide your time amongst those passages. For IELTS, you might spend roughly 20 minutes per passage. In some exams, one passage might be shorter or easier and another passage might be longer or more difficult. In that case, obviously you should plan to spend less time on the short passage and more time on the long passage. And you should time yourself. If you are allowed to wear a watch in your exam, look at your watch and keep track of the time. If you plan for 20 minutes per passage, stick to that plan. Now if you're not allowed to wear a watch, then use the clock in your room or hall or ask the invigilators how much time you have left. Alright, that's the first thing budgeting your time. So now the exam starts and you have the first reading passage in front of you. What do you do? Well, I'll tell you what you should not do. Don't start at the beginning and then slowly read to the finish. Many students do this and the problem is that when you get to the end, you will have forgotten a lot of the details in the middle. And when you read the questions, you will have to go back and read the passage again to find the answers. Instead, here's the plan that you should follow. Your first step in reading should be to skim the passage. What does that mean? Well, skimming is actually something that we do with milk. It's when you heat or boil milk and the fat rises to the top in the form of cream. Removing that layer of fat is called skimming. When it comes to reading, skimming means to read the surface of the text quickly to understand the overall message. So if there's a heading or a title to the passage and if there are subheadings, read all of these first. They will tell you the subject of the text. Then read the first sentence of each paragraph. They will give you a good idea of the overall message. Let's practice this. You see two paragraphs on the screen, but only the first sentence in each paragraph is visible. Stop the video, read the sentences, and try to understand the main topic in each paragraph. Alright, so what do you think the topic of the whole passage might be? It could be the negative effects of social media on children. What about the first paragraph? What is it about? Well, it says that using social media can affect a child's writing skills. And the second paragraph, it says that some people don't agree with this, that is, with the first paragraph, for two reasons, scientific reasons and practical reasons. Pragmatic means practical. This is what you have to do. In each paragraph, read the first sentence, or at most the first two sentences, and ignore all the other information. This should only take one minute or so for all the paragraphs, depending on uh, the length of the passage. Don't waste a lot of time on this. You're only reading quickly to understand the main ideas in the passage. We'll come back to these paragraphs in a moment. Okay, now you have a rough idea of what the passage is about. What do you do next? Well, the second step is to find the easiest exercise. This might be the first exercise, if it is, great, or it might be some other exercise. But find the easiest exercise and read the questions. This is extremely important. 
Before you read the text in detail, you should always read the questions because they will tell you what information you need so that when you read the passage, you will be able to pick out the answers. As you're reading the questions, make sure to fully understand what they are saying. Read them carefully. Also, you should underline the key words, just two or three important words that can help you to identify answers. For example, let's say you have a true or false exercise with these two questions. Now, you don't know the answers because you have not read the passage. But what words can you underline to help you find the answers? Stop the video and think about it. In number one, I would underline likes and shares because these are the focus of this question. In number two, I would underline scientific studies and writing skills. So you should do this underlining for all the questions in the exercise. After you have done that, it's now time to read the full passage. As you read, it can be very useful to use your finger to guide your eyes. You should read naturally, but you should also be looking for any of the key words that you underlined or any related words. We call them synonyms. And if you find the key words or their synonyms, you should slow down and read carefully. Let's practice. You see the two paragraphs again, but this time you have the full text. Stop the video, read the paragraphs and try to find the answers. Okay, number one is false, because the first paragraph says users are encouraged to keep their messages short and trivial. Trivial means not important, not containing much value. So this is the opposite of the statement in the exercise. Number two is true. The second paragraph says few studies have shown a correlation. Correlation means relationship. And few studies means not many studies. Note that it does not say a few. A few means some. It's positive. But just few means not many. It's negative. The point here is that in a long passage, reading and understanding the questions and underlining key words in them before reading the text will help you to find the answers more easily. You can also underline the answers in the passage to help you check your answers later. Okay, I want to give you some important advice at this point. In any passage, you will come across words that you don't understand. Take the word erosion, for example. Maybe you don't know the meaning. What can you do? Well, you can try to guess its meaning from the surrounding information. This is called context. So you might guess that it means to destroy or to reduce something over time. And this is correct. But sometimes you won't be able to guess the meaning. In that case, move on. Never get stuck anywhere in the passage. Whether it's the meaning of a word or maybe you're not able to find an answer to a question. Do not get stuck. It will eat up your time. Instead, if you're not able to understand something, make a mark and move on to the next question. If you have time, you can come back to it later. Okay, so in this way, you should do all of the questions in the first exercise and then move on to the next exercise in the passage. This time, again, follow the same process. Read the questions, understand them, underline, and only after that, read the passage and find the answers. The passage will be easier to read now because you have already read it for the first exercise. Finish the passage, keep your eye on the clock or on your watch, keep to your time budget and move on to the next passage. This is the process. Alright, to close this lesson, I want to give you a general tip on how to improve your reading overall. There are two important challenges to being successful at reading. They are vocabulary and practice. If you are struggling with reading in an exam, one big reason could be that you don't have enough vocabulary for that type of text. Another problem could be that your reading skills need to develop more. The solution to both of these is to read more and to read widely.
don't just read the newspaper or the latest romance novel. You should find various types of reading material. Read novels, but also read magazines, self-improvement books, history books, other kinds of non-fiction books, read articles online. Make reading a regular habit. Whenever you read, keep a notebook and pen and note down any new vocabulary that you learn. Review this vocabulary regularly and try to use it in your own speech and writing. And remember, you can get lots of tips and tricks for reading comprehension exercises, but you only get better at reading by reading, so practice. All right, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you found it useful, and I will see you in the next lesson.